Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody, and uh, happy Saturday. to a little bit of light here. Hold on a second. All right, so is this good lighting? That might be a little better lighting. So anyways, I didn't really talk about what I'm even doing here today, but you probably know by the title of my video. So I am on diagnostic call this weekend, which means I'm working two 16 hour shifts in a row. You heard that right. One, six, 16 hour shifts each of reading MRIs, ultrasounds, CTs, x-rays, nuclear medicine studies, whatever comes through the door, I have to read. The reason it is so long is because we do these call weekends. I think I do eight of these throughout the whole year. And yes, they are 32 hours straight. The reason we do them is because if one person does them, it increases our vacation a whole bunch. So this is how we get so much vacation in our practice. But when you're on these shifts, they're pretty brutal and they can be pretty miserable. So I got here today at 6.45, no, like 6.40 a.m. And it is now 10.30 a.m. And I like just caught up, which is pretty tough. I figured since, you know, I'm an interventional radiologist. I also do diagnostic stuff as well. So I wanted to bring you along for this side of my practice and see what this is all about. Okay. So my uh, partner slash boss called me and said, hey, basically he had a thoracentesis on a patient. And since I'm here, why don't I just go ahead and do it? And that's exactly what I just did. Because realistically, there's no reason I can't just walk over there, insert the needle, let the text drain the pleural fluid, send the patient up to the floor rather than having my partner come all the way in to do a procedure that takes like 10 seconds. So always do a favor for your people. And uh, yeah, but anyways, it's about noon. I haven't eaten anything, but I have to get back to the list because it's starting to build up. And uh, I get a lot of list anxiety, which means anytime something pops up on the list, I have to read it ASAP or I like to start getting anxious about reading it and I don't want to get behind and all that stuff. So let me get back to work. All right, so we caught up, and uh, now it's time to grab some lunch. All right, so if you're sensing a uh, hint of urgency, that is because on these days, it gets like super busy, super quickly. And if I get behind, I'm basically screwed for the rest of the day. Then I'll just be sitting here hammering out studies. So I'm like constantly running out back and forth, like running to the bathroom if I have to pee, running to the cafeteria to get some food because I just have to like make sure I stay on top of this list because the hospital doesn't stop sleeping. The CT scanners, the MRI scanners, they don't sleep and uh, I gotta keep up. It's even harder because I'm trying to vlog this whole weekend. But you know what? I do it for the people because I want people to see what radiology is all about. So as we do every time I'm on a busy shift is I will eat dinner slash not dinner, it's lunch. A little lunchtime special. Got my bubbly, sparkling water. Finally caught up. I have another CT head about to pop up in two seconds. Watching it on the uh, watch list and uh, time to get to work. And I get to leave to go home about 5 p.m. today. And that's not because my shift is done. That's just like what time our department closes. And that's what time I can go home and continue to read from home until 11 p.m. That's right. <laughs> so after I finish here, I still have another five hours left, but things are going well. It's 12.45. I've read over 100 studies already, which is crazy. So let's keep this train moving. All right. so. Just caught up, it's after 5 p.m. now. It's actually almost 6 p.m., which means I can actually head home right now, which is pretty awesome if I do say so myself. That's one benefit about doing this is I can head home at this time and read the next five hours from home. And yes, I do have five more hours. Also, let me know if you're digging this uh, cinematic mode. I don't know, I kind of like it. It's like portrait mode for video on this new iPhone. It's dope. But anyways, I just read, that was a squirrel. Literally just read probably, I think like 170, 180 studies for the first 12 hours. I still have five more hours of work, which is insane. The volume that's happening today, as you notice, I'm like rushing through talking because every time I vlog, it's like taking away time from being at home. And I'm trying to get back home so that I don't miss out and like get behind again. So head home, start my computer, log in from home, work from home, go from there. Oh God. So I had to come back to the hospital it's now 10.30 at night, by the way. Let's just say it's been 
quite a bit of a disaster to say the least. I've been trying to uh, fix my home computer. It was like moving so slow and eventually I got so behind by like 10 CTs plus. Basically had to come back into the hospital. So here I am reading from here because we're having some network issues or who the hell knows what, but I have about 30 more minutes here and then I get to go home and uh, do it all over again tomorrow. All right, so it's officially 11 o'clock on the dot. I am dead tired and I'm gonna shower, wake up and do this all over again for another 16 hour shift. All right, so let's talk for a second. A, I feel like I have some down lighting here. Let me see if I can switch this up. What a disaster last night was. So I actually went home, started reading from home at about whatever it was, five or 6 p.m. Every study I pulled up would not load. So I'd pull up a CT scan, pull up an MRI, and it would take like 10 minutes to load. And I just see my list just piling up and I'm not reading anything. And as you can imagine, my anxiety started going so I called my boss, he read a few while I was trying to figure out what was going on. And eventually we just came back to the hospital because I was getting so behind that I needed to read the studies. So that's what happened. So I went to bed at about 11.45 last night, went home to the shower when I got home. And I just got back to the hospital this morning at 6.45. It is now 8.30. I just got caught up from all the overnight stuff. And I'm gonna be here all day today, which sucks big time. So usually on Sundays, I can read all from home, which means every now and then I can go hang out with Andriana, take a little break, go on my balcony, relax, enjoy the absolutely beautiful weather today. But since my stupid home system is working so slowly and no IT can come out this weekend, I'm basically screwed and have to spend 16 hours today in a dark hole in the basement instead of at home. That's one of the biggest benefits from working from home is you can actually just hang out with your wife have dinner, have breakfast, have lunch, have a snack here and there, instead of being by yourself in the hospital with no one else around, as you can see. So I'm not gonna complain. This is just the way it goes sometimes, you know, what can you do? But I'm here, finally caught up, had a few emergencies this morning, and it's pretty funny to see how different the studies are and the indications for studies are here compared to what I'm used to in North Carolina. So I'm getting a lot of these like random indications for studies that I'm just not used to. For one, I have never seen an x-ray where a person caught a stingray and the stingray barb stabbed them in the hand and then did an x-ray. So the indication for the x-ray was stabbed by a stingray, which I never thought I'd see. And then you also see a whole bunch of like hockey injuries, which I'm also not used to, like people getting into fight on the hockey rink. Never used to seeing that, it's kind of funny. But, well, not the fighting, but seeing all these different things is kind of funny. Being in a new place in the Northeast, near the water, it's kind of crazy. Oh, and I had a big boat accident yesterday. That was like the big trauma, crazy. So anyways, I'm gonna get back to work and uh, keep you posted how today goes. And you'll see me kinda fade off after this coffee wears off. Check in later. Okay, things have changed. Heading back home now. Thanks to Andrana, and I'll tell you why in a second. Well, that was a complete and utter fail. Ooh, that sounds good. Cheers. To run up and get dinner from the wife. Look who brought me dinner. I saw you. You saw me? I did. What'd you make for dinner? Chicken burgers, sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts. Best wife ever? I guess. How about this for a score? Who has the best wife ever? Real talk though, I feel like I'm back in like residency where if you remember on one of those videos from way back when, it's actually one of the videos that got me like over a million views or something. But if you remember that video, hold on, let me turn the light on. But if you remember that video, Andrana came to give me lunch, no wait, dinner while I was on call in IR back at UNC and she just did the same thing. So I feel like I'm in residency again, but I guess I get paid better now. So it hurts a little less to be here so late, but it still sucks. Don't get me wrong. All right guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because for one, I'm super tired. For two, pretty much only have a few more hours left and then I'm done, so there's nothing too exciting going on here. But just ate my dinner. Now, slowly reading the last straggler studies that are coming in and uh, that'll be it for me. As you can see, I'm getting tired, but that's okay. 
I have to be here first thing in the morning at about 6.45 a.m. to uh, be on CT and ultrasound again tomorrow, so that's cool. Then Tuesday I get to work from home. Hopefully my computer will be fixed because like I said, I should be at home this whole time, which makes this weekend hurt a little less. But since my computer is not working and all this stuff is happening, I have to be at the hospital till 11 p.m. tonight, so it kind of sucks. But next time, if I bring you along for the ride for the next weekend call, hopefully I'll be at home. Hopefully it'll be more fun because I get to hang out with Andriana and, you know, break out the day a little bit. But on that note, I'll leave you all here. I'll see you all on the next video. Make sure you smash the like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already. And I'll see you all on the next, I almost put my eye out, on the next video. Bye.